Hello everyone, this is episode 36 and it has finally arrived. We're gonna go up and fucking do this moon flute bullshit and sun flute bullshit and we're gonna get this over with. We're gonna climb up these stairs. Very long amount of stairs that I would be very winded after climbing up because I am a fat fuck. Dun, dun, dun. Can I save it before, at least? I can feel the strong power of the moon. Nebby, I'm going to make my mother wake up and see the reason before I send you back to your old world. I'm going to make her hear me. I'm going to tell her how I feel. Even if I'm not a trainer, I can still do that much. The sun flutes. It feels like I was made to fit in my hand. I think I can play it. RTK, you should stand over there. Alright, let's save it before any crazy shit goes on. And we're gonna go all the way over here. No, it's fine. Okay. Yes, I will blow the moon flute. I've never blown anything before, but I can try. I think we should wait until the moon has risen. All right. How did I just know how to play this song? Okay, continue. Keep going. Is that the portal? Is that Nebby? It's moving! Nebby! The fuck? It looks so weird. Oh! It turned into Luna. Can't say I wasn't expecting that, but I totally was. So I can, what, just straight up catch it now? It's really cool looking. Nebby, thank goodness you're all right. Please don't ever do that again. You made me worry so much. And I never imagined that sounding the flutes would give you so much power or let you evolve into the legendary Pokemon. Mahina! Not in all of my reading. Never did I come across any hint that you would evolve into the legendary Pokemon. Please, Lunala. No. Nebby, please. I need to see my mother. Mina P. Okay. Well, what the fuck is going on? Ooh. Whoa, what the fuck? This is freaky. Ultra space. Is that where the Ultra Beasts come from?
How surprising. It's more beautiful than I would have expected. But the air is so thick here, it almost hurts to breathe. Do you think the Ultra Beasts really are Pokemon? I don't know what to call them anymore. We should go. Me and I pee. What is it? Are you telling us you have to stay here? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Nabby. Thank you. Alright, I guess we're going. We're going now. So I can't catch it then. Is that a Nihaligo? That's the. That's Guzma. I'm the Team Skull boss, and I've never been scared of nothing or nobody. Heck, I live my life making people scared of me. So listen to what Big Bad Guzma has to say. Y'all are stupid! How in the world did you even get to this place? I've got no idea how you did it, but here you are! It's all dark here. I got no clue what's going on, but there's beasts everywhere. I tried to catch one of those things. Huh. But it possessed me. And that's when it happened. My body, my mind, they started running wild and I couldn't do anything about it. It was like I became somebody else and I finally felt what fear was like. It was terrifying! I may be the Team Skull boss, and I've never been scared of nothing or nobody. But that lady, she's on another level. She's way far gone. She's lost her mind over these Ultra Beasts. There's no talking to her, no reasoning with her. She's just gone. That doesn't change anything. I still have to go. Alright. Well, uh... I guess we continue on. So, I, can I catch those Nihiligo? This is freaky. Ah! What? Look at it. <clears throat> Look at it. The world of my ultra beasts. A world where the only thing that exists is love between Nihaligo and myself. So beautiful, so delicious. This is the real paradise. And she is fucked up. And yet you! Why must you continue to pester me? I'm sick of you, sick through and through. Who told you that you could come here to my, the perfect, beautiful world of my beasts and me? Think about what you're saying. What about Mr. Guzma? Do you care what happens to him? Just leave. I don't need you here. I don't need you any longer. Look around you. Look at this beautiful world that I've finally come to. You want me to go back to that world? That's what you've come to bother me for? Even you cannot be that stupid. You always do that. You just like it back. It was just, it's just like it was back at either paradise. Only thinking of yourself and what you want. What? And why shouldn't I? I can, I can live here in this world filled with only the things that I love. 
I will live here. I don't care if you are my child or not. I don't care if you were loyal to me or not. I don't care if you're the rarest Pokemon there is in the world or not. If you're not beautiful enough to be worthy of my love, then I don't need you. That's right, all I need to exist in my world are the things that I want to have with me. Everything else is just a bother to me. I'm the one who is sick of you, mother! Children! Children are not just things that belong to their parents! Pokemon are not just things that their trainer can do whatever they want to! I am alive! Cosmog is alive! We are not things for you to collect! We're not made for you just to discard when you get bored with us! That is terrible, Mother! You are terrible! Terrible? Me? How am I different from any Pokemon trainer like your little friend there? What you what do you do with a Pokemon you can't use? You remove it from your party as you please. Even with these useless talk, Lily, I will f never forgive you for stealing Cosmog from me. Never. Back when you were small, you would listen to everything I said without question. For a time, you were even even you were adorable to me, but you changed. You become ugly. Ever since you met this boy, RTK, and I learned to defy your m own mother, RTK, you hateful little trainer. How dare you intrude upon this world that was meant for Nihaligo and me. It is not born. It is not to be born. And with Nihaligo's power, I will show you how wrong you were to come here. Alright, lady. You can suck my dick. Let's do this. Oh, she's got an Ultra Ball. Ultra Beast Ball. You know what? You know what? You want to handle... Is she going to get absorbed? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Holy shit! What? Digimon? They're Digimon? Oh my fucking god, this is amazing! Are they all super? You know what? Watch me get my stats all the way up. Plus four nasty plot should destroy everything. As long as I can live every hit. Okay, cosmic power. That's gonna raise it by plus one. But that's okay. I'm going up to plus four and she'll be at plus two. That's fine. I can take it. Okay, I'm at plus four now. So, 129, it did. I'm gonna go for the psychic. Hopefully it kills. Holy shit, no it did not. Do I have anything that can, oh, okay. I guess I could have gone for another nasty plot, huh? Um... Do I have any potions? I do not. So I think the best thing I can go for is a discharge and hope I paralyze. Well, 
Well, I'm dead now. That's okay. I'm gonna go for a Hydro Vortex on this thing, and hopefully I kill. She's actually pretty strong, so I hope I don't white out. Alright, Hydro Vortex, you need to do the do here. You need to kill this thing. I know it's at plus one, but you should probably have plus two, actually, because of the stat boost. All right, Hydro Vortex, you can do this. That did definitely not do enough. Oh my god, this is awful. Okay. Well, I think it's best if I try and go for special defense drops with Shadow Ball. That's pretty much anything I can hope for now, because that plus two Psychic Nasty Plot, or plus four, didn't even budget. Can I lower the stats? No. I think I may lose. This actually seems like I might lose. What can handle this? I don't know. I don't know what'll be able to handle this. Because I don't have any... Hmm. I guess the best thing I can go for is just Sparkling Aria. I think I think that's my strongest. How much is Moonblast? 95? Okay, Moonblast is my strongest move to hit it. That does so little. Went for Metronome. Please, Heart Swap? I took all of its stats now. That's pretty nice. I just took all of its stats, right? Oh, yes. This is nice. Okay, thank you for giving me the heart swap. Lilligant? Okay, so I'm gonna swap to Crossbones. I am not gonna fuck around. This Lilligant is gonna get flame charged. I wish I had a better fire move, but it's okay that I don't. I don't think this Lilligant can do anything, Jumi. They're all level 50. Stun Spore? That's fine. Because Flame Charge still should hurt you pretty bad. Unless I get fucking paralyzed just like that. Thank you. If you Quiver Dance me, I swear to God. Tito. Oh, uh, no. Ho, ho, ho. Why? I have to deal with Parafusion now? Please just break through. Thank you. Thank God. Holy shit. One shot. Thank the Lord. Now, Slowbro's probably going to be a pain in the ass. Actually, no, I do have jewels. Oh, my low tech. Okay, so we're going to go into jewels. And since my low tech physical defense, I think, is usually higher. I'm going to go for the Leaf Storm. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to go for the... Oh, just go for Hydro Pump, which is quad... All right, Leaf Storm, do it! Okay, I think an Ink Bomb should kill. Oh, God. Seriously? Recover? <sighs> that actually does a decent amount. I'm just gonna wood hammer it. It should probably die. Goodbye, Milotic. That Clefable was a fucking pain in the ass. 
What do you have now? Beware? What do I have to handle this? Beware's part fighting type, right? So I can go into this and just moonblast it. I don't think Beware should be faster than me. Fairly certain it shouldn't be. Thank God. Why was that Clefairy such a pain in the dick? Alright, 55. Alright, perfect. Hydro Pump? Ye you know... Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need a Hydro Pump. Not at this moment in time. Yes, best doggo is at 47. Miss Magius. I could stay in. I just go for the shadow ball. Pain split? Why? That was literally the dumbest thing you could have done. It was extremely dumb. Why? Why would you even bother doing that? Again? Really? Lusamine? Are you kidding? That was really dumb. Absolutely. Super dumb. Oh, it wants to learn Flare Blitz? Hell yes! Let's get rid of... Headbutt! Flame charge can still work. She got fucking destroyed. Let's let's kill it. Cure this paralysis. Come on. I'm pretty sure all my Pokemon are going to get healed anyways. I'm having a bit of a lagging issue, it looks like. <clears throat> Hopefully it's fixed now. What is going on? Is she getting eaten? What happened? Is she back to normal? What the fuck is going on? Mother! Lily. I don't know what's going on. Did she die? When did you become, when did you start becoming beautiful? So she's not dead? Top 10 anime betrayals. What now? What's going on? And just when things were getting good. Oh, the Nihiligo are pissed off. They're super pissed. Alright, grab the grab the, Yes, Lunala! Teleport us all out. No, take her! Oh she she's gone.
Oh no, she's she's back. Oh shit, I wasn't reading that. Find but the legendary Pokemon and strange hole in the sky. However, I'm relieved to see you all unharmed. Hapu, it's my mother. You there, big fella, carry the lady, will ya? She is weak, but I do not believe that she is seriously harmed. We should take her to be treated directly. Huh? Oh. Ow. RTK? RTK, you have done well in guiding Lily, though she's not a trainer. And Lily, you two gave it your best. We will wait for you down below when you are ready. Come find us. The, the, thank you, Hapu. All right. Lunala, all I ever wanted to do was help you get back to your own home. But instead you helped me over and over. Thank you. Thank you so much. What is it? Shall I guess what it is you're trying to tell us? You... You want to keep traveling together with RTK and me, is that it? Yeah, it does. Looks like I was right. Of course I was. After all, we've been together for so long. We're family now, aren't we? Of course I can tell how you feel. Because I feel the same. We met so many people as we traveled around Alola Islands. Professor Kukwe, Professor Burnett, Kahuna Hala and his grandson Hal, and of course the hero who appeared to save you in the Spiro attacked, our own RTK. So many other people too. I don't know what the world you came from is like, but Lola is pretty great too. Of course you want to see it all. It's just like Kahuna Hala told us. You can go so many places to meet and meet so many Pokemon and people, and they will enrich your life. Okay. But not with me. I'm not a trainer, Nebby. I can't take you on the adventures you want. I can't give you the fierce battles you want. RTK, I want you to face Nebby as only a trainer can. I want you to give it a ball to come home. I know this is what Nebby wants. If it doesn't want this journey to, with you to end, and I want you to grant its wish. All right. Do I catch it? I think I'm gonna catch it. This episode may be a little bit longer, and that's okay. But we're gonna catch this fucking thing, and I'm not gonna use the Master Ball. I don't have many Ultra Balls. I have I have five ultra balls. One timer ball, a sunstone. Some 20 poker balls. Let's try and catch this motherfucker. And if not, I'll just cut it till I do catch it. And maybe it'll just let me catch it, too. Wow, it looks really fucking cool. More lag? Yay! <sighs> Sorry, closing Skype. Maybe that'll stop the lag. Alright, go for the stun spore. Oh, you're gonna set up on me, huh? Alright, paralyzed, that's the first step. Now, what does Pollen Puff do? Okay, I'm gonna go for the Bug Buzz. I think it's part Psychic. I don't think I should kill it, though. It's literally like 11 levels higher than I am. Night Days. Okay. As long as it stays paralyzed, that's all that matters. It's like Psychic and Ghost. I'm gonna 
go into um, trap. Oh shit, that means I can't. If it's psychic and ghost, I can't. Um, I can't night. Uh, I can't false swipe it. Right, let's just go for the shadow ball. Hopefully, it doesn't kill. It has plus one on. Doing? Do you shadow ball me too? Will Aqua Jet kill? I don't think Aqua Jet will kill. If it does, I'll be real sad. No, I won't. Okay. So I can keep doing that for a little bit. Please don't have roosts or anything. So far, I had night, night days, shadow ball, cosmic power. Some other shit. I just gotta get you low enough. That's not gonna kill me, is it? Okay, that'll let me get... Oh, lowers my accuracy. That'll let me get one Aqua Jet off. And, of course, because of the accuracy miss, I miss it. That's fun. That's fun! Use the next Pokemon. Of course, it's gonna be Rabobi. And we saw how much the Bug Buzz did, so it shouldn't kill. Okay, that's that's absolutely perfect. Now I just throw Ultra Balls at it, and if it catches it instantly, then I guess awesome. Okay, um... Go Ultra Ball! Are you fucking serious? Was that a, was that super lucky or was that just- was that supposed to happen? Was it a 100% chance to catch it? Did I waste that time? All right, Lunala. Psychic and Ghost, yep. Of course, I gotta name it Nebby. Yep, and I guess I'll send Rabambi home. Uh, you know what? Rabombi was actually nice. I'm gonna send Jules back. It's super quiet. Lunala? Lunala? No. Nevi. Nevi, you belong with RTK now. He will be the one to raise you. Just like any parent should raise their child, he will be your father now. I may not have been able to do anything for you, Nebby, but I'm still glad I took you that day. So go with RTK and see the world. Have battles against strong Pokemon where you can use your full power. Meet other trainers who will make your heart dance with the thrill of it all. That's the kind of world that RTK can share with you. If it's you, RTK, I know I can trust you to raise Nebby. Raise my Nebby well. Take good care of it. And I will go with my mother. I need to see for myself that she will be alright. Alright. Nebby? Don't always be trying to get out of your Pokeball the way you always wriggled out of my bag. And don't forget that you're strong now. You'll have to be careful not to accidentally hurt anyone until you get used to your strength. And and you can't just go running off to some other world anytime without telling anyone. You'll make RTK worry.
Okay, I'm really, I'm really going this time. Alola. What the hell? Cripes. But I hate this place. Ex it's exhausting climbing all the way up here. At least you gave me a good show, though. Guess it was worth coming this far. And the profess did ask me and all. Look, once you've completed all your island trials and done your grand trials, then you've done got to do one last thing. The final trial. Basically, it's a ceremony, you see? You beat all four kahunas in a row, but things are a little different this year. Now that we're getting a real Pokemon League here in Alola, too. So, boy, I hope you can bother yourself to come along to the base of Ula Ula's Island's Mount Launikali. You remember Tapu Village, don't you, where the folks were doing construction work? He'll be ready and waiting for you there. I suppose I could take you along with me. Will you want to do that? Come now with me. Yeah. Looks like we're on this journey together then. Tapu Village. Alright guys, and when we come back, we will take be taking all of the kahunas on. I don't know if we'll take them all on in one episode. We'll take take them on in four different episodes, but I'll let you guys uh, I'll let you guys know. Anyways, thank you for watching. As always, stay awesome and keep playing Pokemon.